The city of Dallas may have to pay back $4.2 million to the Department of Housing and Urban Development. That's because a federal grant investigation found the city misspent tax dollars. Fox Wars Lori Brown is live at City Hall. Lori, you've got the story. Clarice, the federal audit says that the city was hasty and rushed projects, misspending $1.3 million tax dollars, and that the city got millions more for things that did not qualify for the money. Now the city may have to pay all of that money back at a time when it faces a shortage of 20,000 affordable housing units. Photos in the audit show defective and substandard construction paid for by taxpayer money. The frame of this home extended over the slab by several inches, and the audit says two homes had flooding issues due to construction flaws. The audit says despite the contractor's lack of experience, the city awarded it eight reconstruction projects. We end up having to pay money back that we really don't have to pay back. Uh, and it also puts a stain on the city of Dallas uh, when something like this happens. The audit began after the city's own auditor found poor record keeping of how 30 million in HUD money was spent. When we asked to see the city's records ourselves last year, the city told us it would cost $2,200 for copies. So we viewed six boxes of records at City Hall. Finding much of HUD's required documentation, like final inspection reports, were missing. Seeing those words in the audit that money was misspent, does that upset you? Well, it was upset anyone. Councilman Tanel Atkins is now the chair of the Housing Committee. He was not on the City Council during the time period HUD audited. I think we're going to clean it up. Uh, and make sure we hire the right people, train the right people, and make sure that it won't happen again. The audit also found a city employee tampered with a document during the review, prompting an email to staff that original documents should never be deleted or altered. In the city's response to the audit, it does not dispute that $1.3 million was misspent. The city does, however, argue that since 13 homes were built, it should not have to repay that money. And the city did agree to pay for repairs to the homes. And within, an out, within the hour, we got a statement from the city which acknowledges the findings of the audit and states that the city has begun to address the problems by developing more rigorous internal controls.